In this video, I want to show you how to set your default font and font size and other defaults in Microsoft Word. So uh, I'm just going to type in some text here. I'll type in my name. And we're going to highlight that text. Now, in previous versions of Word, you would pick on the Format menu, and then you would pick on Font. Let me show you where you can find those kind of things in Word 2007, 2010, and 2013. We're going to pick on the Home menu. Now, you're going to look for the word font here, and then you're going to click on this little arrow to the right of the word font. And that's going to bring us up our classic screen uh, that, that used to be called format font. So in this case, let's say we're um, the favorite font perhaps is going to be Arial. So I'll pick on Arial. And let's say I want that to be 11 size. If you notice down here on the bottom of this window, it says set as default. So I'm going to click there. Now, the trick here is you want to say all documents based on the normal template. And then we'll click on OK. Now, what that really means is every time I make a new document, it should be Arial and 11. Let's see if that's the case. I'm going to close that of Word altogether. In this case, I don't need to save the document. Uh, now, let me go back into Word. And we'll make a blank document, of course. And notice for every new document after that, the default font will be Arial and the size is 11. So we picked on the home menu and we picked on font. And then we picked on the, uh, the arrow to the right of the word font. It, you make your settings on the screen and you pick on set as default. Now, in a similar way, we can set uh, things, the paragraph spacing as a default as well. So in this case, I'll just type in uh, a couple sentences. And I'm just going to copy that just so we have some text here. And I'll paste it in there a couple times. Now, in this case, what I'm going to do is I'm going to highlight that text. And I'm going to say, uh, pick on the home menu. Then we're looking for the word paragraph. And then we're going to click on the arrow to the right of the word paragraph. Right now, in this case, this is where we can set our uh, spacing. Let's say you always like it to have uh, single spacing as a default. Uh, by the way, I would make sure that these also say zero point. So the text will be nice and tight. And then notice here, we can say set as default as well. And I'm going to say make that for all documents. All right. So we can set defaults for the font using this arrow right there. We can set default for the paragraph, including uh, spacing and indents uh, on this screen over here uh, with that arrow. Now, another place you can set defaults is uh, for your page setup. Now, page setup always used to be under the file menu. Let me show you where it is now. We're going to pick on page layout. And then here it does say page setup and you're going to click on that arrow to the right of the word page setup. And then notice how page setup, of course, is the same thing you've always seen where, where, where we can make a portrait or landscape or choose the paper size, choose the margins. Okay. So, but notice how we can do all that. And then at the bottom there, it also says set as default. Uh, and then you make sure we're going to change the normal document again. All right, so uh, if you look at this video, it'll show you three different places where you can set your defaults. One would be under the home menu, and you pick on the arrow to the right of the word font. Another one is under the home menu, uh, and you pick on the arrow next to the word paragraph. And then another one is under page layout, and you pick on that little arrow next to page setup. And notice how on each of those screens, they all said set as default. This way, every time you make a new document, it'll have the settings that you like.